Azure Gleam, the blood-stained lance. The Western Lord suffered defeat at the capital. Cornelia, the instigator of the uprising, flees west and commands her allies, Viscounts Mateus and Gideon, to muster their forces. Hoping to settle this matter before re-engaging with the Empire, the Kingdom Army makes for the Mach region in order to defeat Cornelia and learn the truth of the tragedy of Dusker. No, my uncle? I'm afraid so. Among the rebels are houses Mateus and Gideon, and all the other Western lords from whom I've stripped power. They appear to have appointed Baron Dominic as their leader. I'm so sorry, Annie. What could he be thinking? House Dominic may be a mere barony at present, but they're a storied family whose lineage traces all the way back to the Ten Elites. Centuries ago, when the wise King Klaus passed beyond the Veil of Death, he did so without naming a successor to the crown. And so, the three regions of the Holy Kingdom, Fargus, Mark, and Leicester, were divided among the three royal princes. House Dominic chose to side with the prince ruling Mark, who was eventually defeated by the forces of Fargus, leaving the once vast Dominic territory to be whittled down, meted out to the neighboring lords. I know they held a grudge about that in the past, but surely it's ancient history at this point. Tons of people from House Dominic, my father included, have devoted their lives to serving the royal family. It makes me wonder if my uncle's heart is really in this fight. As they stand now, House Dominic lacks the influence and might necessary to defy their surrounding lords. So when pushed to join the uprising, they would have had little choice but to go along. But that lack of strength might just be the key to our victory. How do you mean, Gustav? If we could only convince my brother to change sides, the Western territories would lose their leader. And if we were to follow that up with a decisive victory against a demoralized army, it would likely cause their military effort to collapse entirely. Perhaps. But it'll be difficult to pry the Baron away without first eliminating those surrounding him. Indeed. If nothing else, we'll need to turn the tide of war in our favor if we ever hope to empower the Baron to defect. For now, we must consider how best to break through their front. This is no small number of soldiers you offer. Are you sure Dusker can spare that many? For good or ill, this is what our chief has decided. Preparations will take some time, but we are sworn to aid you, and we will stake our pride as a people on doing so. Still, this is a far larger force than we ever asked for. Please, you strove tirelessly to see our home return to us. The people of Dusker have not forgotten the kindness you showed. And though some may still think ill of you, we only offer as many soldiers as volunteered. Oscar remains a kingdom territory. As such, I can't claim our relationship is one on equal footing. Yet, I want to believe your gracious support here will point the way to a new future for both your home and ours. Give your men my thanks. And once this war reaches its conclusion, I'll be sure to visit Dusker anew. Understood. I'll be taking my leave now to do. None of this would be happening if not for the unflagging efforts of you and Rodrigue. No, Your Majesty. Neither I nor Rodrigue could have accomplished this. Your sincerity is what won their trust. I hope you speak true. Nothing I do will ever bring back their fallen loved ones after all. Yet you have shown us the truth all the same allowed us to see a better future. Not only me, but everyone from Dusker. And still, 
the whole picture remains elusive. A dark secret continues to linger over the tragedy, shrouded by shadow. Shedding light on it is my... No. It is our duty. I have a message, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army has begun an assault on former Arendelle territory. <sighs> They've caught on to us. And? How does Arendelle fare? The force we sent to bolster their defenses still holds the castle, but they're under considerable pressure. They may not hold out much longer. That bad, huh? Could they have planted spies in our midst at the fortress? Even were that the case, this would be an odd turn of events. We left sizable reserves guarding both Aryan Road and Arendelle. Under those circumstances, Felix's unit alone would seem enough to keep the enemy at bay. But this enemy marches under the flag of the Black Eagles. They appear to be the Emperor's personal battalion. Edelgard's trying to seize Aryan Road personally? The Emperor has panache, I'll give her that. It takes some real guts to confront the Kingdom and Alliance simultaneously. If you ask me, it feels like quite a roll of the dice for us to keep focusing on the West, while the Imperial threat marches towards us unchecked. We need to go help Aryan Road. If we don't ride out soon, the fortress could fall. Now, wait just a minute. What becomes of the uprising in the West if we do that? Of course, we can't turn a blind eye to the Empire's attack either. But taking the sword to these insurrectionists must be our top priority. Indeed. Considering the relative urgencies of both situations, the trouble in the West takes precedence. <sighs> that said... The thought of Aryan Road falling into her hands is a difficult one to stomach. Send forth the Knights of Saros, then. We may be few in number, but even a small force can be all the difference when defending a siege. And given the debt we owe you, the Archbishop will surely not refuse you this favor. Thank you, Seteth. I'll send an envoy to her at once. Go to Lady Rhea and request reinforcements from the Knights at both Arendelle and Arian Road. Tell her, if Arendelle proves too difficult to pacify, her Knights should not hesitate to abandon it. If such an eventuality comes, they're to fall back to Arian Road and hold the fortress with the others. Understood? Yes, Your Majesty! We don't have time to be sitting on our hands either. Let's hurry up and end this rebellion. Right you are. There's not a moment to waste. We'll begin our war council at once. I see. Then the regicide of our late King Lambert was orchestrated by none other than you and your accomplices here, Viscount Mateus. What's more, you have the audacity to pin the blame for your crime onto the innocent people of Dusker. We did what we believed to be right, and we still believe it so. I bear neither shame nor regret for our actions. Our hand was forced, Baron. We took no pleasure in the deed. But we could not lie down and allow Lambert to trample over us with his tyrannical policies. His beloved Eastern Lords may have submitted with naught but a whimper, knowing full well that they would always have the favor of the King. But we in the West refuse to play his game. It's as simple as that. I understand the situation you found yourself in, but I fail to see the righteousness or necessity in the measures you chose. Of course, aspects of Lambert's reign troubled me as well. Yet one can never predict what may lie on the other side of a violent, radical revolution. With that understanding in mind, I decided to obey the late King's wishes. 
If you took issue with his policy, you should have made a formal protest. Surely a dialogue is a more preferable outcome to cold-blooded murder. Any protest we made would never have drowned out the chorus of his blind devotees. Wrong. His Majesty would have listened had you only explained your troubles. I'm sure of it. Instead, you cast aside your duties as his retainers, crawled into a fitted bed with the Empire, and ended his life like the base cowards you are. Well, the time has come to face judgment for your sins. My, my. Do you really think yourself so different from them, dear Baron? Cornelia, you scheming wretch. Judgment for your sins? <laughs> Do you think this is one of that decrepit church's tired old parables? Sorry, but you're part of this now, trapped here like the rest of us. So be a good little boy, and do your part in sowing chaos in Vargas and the rest of Fodlin while you're at it. Gustav, Annette? The success of this plan lies on your shoulders. We've got this, Your Majesty. I swear, we'll make my uncle see the light. You sure about this, Dimitri? I probably shouldn't be saying this in front of the Baron's relatives, but... The Western Lords could end up convincing Baron Dominic to lead them once more. Killing him now could spare us a storm of grief later. It would be quicker, I'll admit that. But convincing him to join our cause will pay dividends later on. I'm sure of it. Not to mention that the Baron's eldest son possesses a crest of his own. Even if the father falls, what's to stop the other lords from promoting his heir as their standard bearer? That's exactly why I'd rather this end with Baron Dominic as an ally, not a corpse. But first, we'll need to whittle down the armies of the other Western Lords. Only then can we seek an opportunity to reach him. Dimitri, we should get moving. Right you are. Our numbers in this battle will be few. Much of our army is off defending Aryan Road from the Empire. In other words, this fight shall not be an easy one. But we cannot afford to fail. And I will need all of your help to ensure we do not. I wonder what the Dimitri of a few months ago would say if he could hear you now. For what it's worth, I like this version of you better. You seem more... at ease. <laughs> at ease, hmm? Yes. Perhaps I am. Look at you go, actually making friends. I can tell this has been quite a fulfilling time for you. Not to say I'm not pleased myself. I only hope you haven't forgotten your true purpose among all this camaraderie. The Ashen Demon. If you ever hope to reach the highest of heights, you need a powerful aspiration driving you forward. You know, when we first met, I was struck by the undeniable might of your will. Such strength laid bare the tremendous potential you hold for growth. But if you lose sight of your driving purpose, the growth I hope so dearly for you may not, in fact, come to pass. Uh, hey, Arval? Yes? Don't you think you're getting a bit too obsessed with this little grudge match? Maybe so. Though I don't believe that's all there is to it. And my purpose? Why can't we just say it's fighting for Dimitri and call it a day? Right now, that's just as important to me as surpassing the Ashen Demon. Maybe even more so. Hmm... 
Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do. to be battling. I can do this. If I count my tape... Let's begin. It's time. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. Begin. The Sky Spirit. What? We will pro... We must... Shall we? Let's give it a- Shall we? I must secure you loud and clear. I'll make sure- Who's Viscount Elidor? We sure aren't holding anyone back. But where's my uncle in all of this? As we discussed, we will focus our efforts on persuading the Baron to join our cause. And chip away at the others en route. We march together. I will make my brother see reason if it is the last thing I do. With all the progress we've made, the Western Lords are probably feeling the heat pretty hard. I bet he'll be receptive. We won't have much hope of persuading the Baron without you. Stay with you. Stay out of my way! Nobody's stopping you from reaching my uncle. Such foolishness. Now, show them the price of their fall. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over. Allow me. <laughs> There are likely more awaiting us elsewhere as well. Stay vigilant. The enemy stronghold will be ours. My apologies for the trouble. Let us continue onward. Please retreat! Let's begin. It's time to move. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Not a problem. I'm savage beasts! Dispose of them! No escape! No matter what may come our way, we can fend them off so long as we stand together. Not resist. Now, that should do it. Let's keep moving, Gustav. Do not interfere. Shall we? 
I must sick. Let's begin. It I'm ready to go. Bring it down quick. No mercy. With you, my brother. Please, <laughs> Gustav. How did you break through? So you mean to sway our precious Baron Dominic to your cause? <laughs> I won't allow it. There are so many of the. Begin the Sky Spirit. Let's begin. It's time. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to break. Shall we? Let's give it a- I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything- Not a problem. I've got this. Hear you loud and clear. Shall we? Um, we can't let them reach my father. You're finished. <laughs> Not your day, huh? <laughs> Try <it> tomorrow. <laughs> Surely you see the Western Lords have no hope of winning this fight, my brother. But together, we can put an end to that seductiveness. Yet if I join you, then we should fail. What becomes of us then? What becomes of the citizens of my barony? <laughs> Lambert died by Cornelius' hand, and she is who you choose to side with. The decision was not one I took lightly, but I have a responsibility to keep my people safe. However, my heart lies not in this fight. If you can promise victory, then I will join you. Thank you, my brother. You will not regret this decision. With my uncle on our side, we've got nothing to be afraid of. So this is the sting of betrayal, hmm? Allow me to put you in your place. Oh, my dear Titan. Shall we? I must succeed. Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must strive. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me, shall we? Let's give it a shot. Hear you loud and clear. Leave the backup to me. Begin. I will help. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Ms. Hunt these beasts down. After all we've done to secure his cooperation, we must Not defeat day, the Western huh? Lords and see him Begin. The sky's not a problem. I've got this. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything, shall we? Let's give it a shot. Let's begin. 
It's time to move. Oh! Cornelius said we would win this handily. If they're working with Cornelius, then were the Western lords involved in the tragedy? Another one of Cornelius' weapons? Such a monstrosity is let loose. Top one. Take a breather. I can go. Powerful attacks. Conventional tactics will not serve us much good. This was our only option, Your Majesty. The Western Lords will be. No words can spare you now. You may plead your case to my father. Beyond the veil of death. Please retreat! Justice lies with us. I feel no shame for what we've done. Why must so many die for the sake of your so-called justice? this whole time our knowledge runs far deeper than you barbarians could ever hope to understand and that's the last of the reinforcements things should be a little calmer now let us march my brother we can reach Cornelia via the drawbridge to the east like a taste of the Viscom's power. What is this? fought back in Ferdiad. There must be a way to shut them down somewhere nearby. I don't know what's up with those soldiers, but they're going after the Baron. <laughs> As if we'll love them. Please retreat! I've already seen those weapons back in Ferdiad. We know what to do. We should capture the stronghold first. Do not interfere! This may not halt the attacks. Will at least lessen their impact. Whew, that 
was close. Let's go, Uncle. Why can't you just be good little rats and die like you're <laughs> supposed to? Let's begin. It's time to move. We will proceed as planned. We must... I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin. I will help. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Hear you loud and clear. They just don't stop coming. Come on, let's take them out. Lament your weakness! Leave everything to me, shall we? Let's give it a shot. So, the cup. You shall not break through. Do not interfere. We don't have time for this. What's your call, Boar? Forgive the delay, Warrior King of Fargus. Allow us to join the fray. I will not forget this kindness. All units, forward! Hear you loud and clear. Come on, let's get marching. I've got this. My turn. What do we do now? Calm yourself, Ro. We still have plenty of cards up our sleeve. More of those weapons! We'll never reach that witch now! Let us help you! We'll shut those things down! You're calling for reinforcements, are you? How rude. Hear you loud and clear. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything to me. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin. The sky shall we I must we will proceed as planned we must str let's begin it's, it's time for the Western Knights to make their appearance enemy will reclaim those weapons should the warriors from dusk the fall we must bolster their defenses Weapons continue to amaze me, no matter how many times we fight them. They're like nothing I've ever seen before. 
Shall we? I must succeed. We will proceed as well. We must. Not a problem. I've got. Talk lock. That's one down. Let's get a move on to the next one. Talk lock. We will proceed as planned. We must. Not a problem. I've got it. Shall we? I must succeed. Let's begin. It's time. Begin. The skies. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. Bring it down quickly. You're finished. Not your day, huh? Shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure we will proceed as planned. We must, shall we? I must six. Not a problem. I've got this. Allow me. Stronger person one. It's a relief to have you on our side. We fought off the enemy reinforcements, but we must stay vigilant. Those guarding the weapons cannot be defeated. That's that then. On to Cornelia. Clever little vermin, aren't they? I'll need some time to reactivate the Viscum. I trust you know what to do about me. Yes, of course. I suppose that means I'll be going out there. Not a problem. I've got this. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure we will proceed as we must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Begin. The skies will give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. Let's begin. It's. <laughs> Count Row himself is joining this battle. Hmm? It matters not. Do what you must to protect those controls. Worry not, King of Fargus. We will not let the controls fall into enemy hands. 
We cannot let them reclaim those weapons. Do not allow the enemy near the strongholds. Send help to the Duster soldiers. They need assistance controlling those strongholds. Where did you nearly get these weapons anyway? I won't back down. You will be counted. I've got time to do this. But how does she expect me to do so? I'm no fighter. I... Uh, your Majesty... Don't lose. Count Rowe. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure, or shall we? I must succeed. Scott, take a breather. You never do shy away from treason. Ah! Cornelia, help me! Why would she come to your aid now? You truly don't realize who you've allied here, do you? <laughs> Nicely done, everyone. I don't understand. Where did I go wrong? Enough of this, Cornelia. None remain who can shield you from our vengeance. I'd hope to keep my hands clean, but it seems there's nothing for it. Entertain me, boy. I've got this. So, you finally show yourself. There will be no escape from this time, I assure you. You kingdom dogs are good at giving chase, I must admit. It's only us and her now. But keep your heads on straight. Watch out for those weapons. My, what a fascinating power you wield. Where did you get it? I don't answer to you. But I'd be glad to give you a closer look. Stand the stench for vermin. Now, be good little rats and die for me, will you? I will ask you again. Why did you slaughter them? You don't want to bring death on yourself. I suggest you speak true. So it's a motive you see, hmm? How about... Because I felt like it. A man of Dusker, hmm? I should have exterminated you when I had the chance. Let us go together! You got it, Dimitri! I got you now! Even were his majesty to forgive the atrocities you committed, I never will. I... lose? Curse this feeble flesh! Seize the witch. It's time she told us the truth. What a horrible way to treat a saint. Your mages have met their end, Cornelia. And soon, so will you. You cannot warp yourself out of this. Now let me ask you again. What became of my stepmother? Does she yet live? <laughs> no. Long dead, I'm afraid. She killed the husband who kept her from the sweet little daughter she loved so dearly, only to lose her own life at that same daughter's hand. You can't mean... <laughs> Didn't I already tell you? Your stepsister has the answers. Oh. 
So this body has reached its end. How pitifully frail you all are. War feeds my body and mind. Lady Luck was on my side. Wish this wasn't so much effort. I'm a better man now than I was five minutes ago. I think I've learned something new. If I seek the truth, I'll have to retrieve it from the Emperor herself. Cornelia said as much before her spirit left this realm. Only a fool would take that temptress at her word. But I do believe there is truth to her claim. Edelgard knows something. The Empire was surely involved in my father's death. And perhaps she was as well. Hold on, Bor. You owe us all an explanation here. The Emperor is your stepsister? Ah, oh, my apologies. I suppose I never mentioned it. Uh, so if I've got this straight, after you were born, your dad got remarried to her mom? Correct. Though the truth of my stepmother's background was never revealed to the public, as you can imagine. Of course, all that is in the past now. There is no reason to keep hiding it from my closest allies. Your Majesty, if I may, I can handle the explanation. That will no doubt prove faster. You knew my father many years longer than I did. It all started 20 years ago, when a dreadful plague ravaged Ferdiad. King Lambert's wife was among those claimed by its spread. In hopes of bringing an end to the epidemic, the king sought experts from across the land. Scholars, doctors, mages. Among those, it was an imperial scholar by the name of Cornelia who finally turned the page on our suffering and put an end to the pestilence. Oh yes, I've heard about that. She helped develop many of the districts in the capital as well, didn't she? It's a little weird to think she's the one who planned out the places we all lived. They even used to call her a saint. What could have happened to her to make her so... different? Interestingly enough, she never asked for any kind of reward for her feat. Well, at first. In lieu of any compensation, monetary or otherwise, she requested that we rescue one of her old friends from the Empire. Which is the story of how the late king came to meet his future wife, Lady Patricia. Or should I say, Lady Anselma. I don't get it. Why would she need saving? I'm not sure of all the details myself, but I know she was banished from the court after becoming involved in some sort of political dispute. Lambert always did have a soft spot for those in need. And of course, in the thick of all that, the two developed feelings for each other. It's difficult to say for sure if it was love, but it was something. Anyway, that's all I have. Looking back on the events now, it's hard to know just how much of it was part of Cornelia's plot. In any case, I must learn more about my stepmother's death. I have no doubt it connects in some manner to the truth about the tragedy. Who was Cornelia working for? And what was Edelgard's role in all of it? If I truly want to know, well, there's only one person I can turn to. 
You want to get answers from the Emperor of the very region we're at war with? Is that even possible? I mean, Edelgard is our enemy. She and her like have stamped the life out of so many of our allies. And we've done the same to hers. I don't see how the two sides could just sit down for a chat after all that. Perhaps not. Make no mistake, she is still our bitter enemy. But I've no other choice. We've extracted all the information we could from the Western Lords. And as Cornelia has departed this world, the Emperor is the only one left we can turn to. Gustav, I'll be leaving Reconstruction of the West to you and the Baron. Understood, Your Majesty. Do you mean to make Ferrarian Road? Indeed I do. Even the most impregnable fortress in all Fodland cannot hold off an onslaught forever. I know not how or when Edelgard will make her presence known, but we must hold the Silver Maiden by any means necessary.